Okay, so far you've learned two different or two or three different strategies for two digit times two digit multiplication. So this video is going to go over the more traditional method of solving a two digit times two digit multiplication problem. So we're going to break it down by the different steps. So step one is going to be to multiply the numbers in your ones place. So four times five, which is 20. So you're going to put the zero in the ones place and you're going to carry your two. So step two, so we've got our 20 still. Step two is going to be to multiply the two or the number in the tens place up top times the five, the number in your ones place. Two times five is 10 plus 12. Oh, two times five is 10 plus two is 12. Since I don't have any other numbers over here, I can just bring my one down. Step three is a really important step. We're going to be multiplying now by this three, but since that three is in the tens place, I have to put a zero here in my ones place. So I like to call this the magic zero. The magic zero is very important. If you forget the magic zero, it'll mess up your whole problem. Step four, after you have your magic zero, is we're just going to kind of repeat the steps, but this time we're going to multiply everything up top by the three. So we're going to do four times three, which is 12. So we have to carry our one. Now we're going to do two times three, which is six, plus the one, which gives us seven. And then the last step is to add those two numbers together. So we're going to add 0 plus 0, 2 plus 2, and 1 plus 7. So the answer, 24 times 35, equals 840. Okay, we're going to do the steps with another problem. So the first thing that we're going to do is multiply 8 times 7. 8 times 7 is 56, so I'm going to put my 6 here, and I'm going to carry the 5. The next step is going to be to do 6 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 5 is 47. Okay, sometimes it's helpful when you get to the next step to cross out what you don't need anymore. We don't need that 5 anymore. We already used it. Then I need to put my magic zero to hold my ones place. Now I'm going to multiply everything by the three. So I'm going to do eight times three. Eight times three is 24. So now instead of this five, I'm carrying a two. Then I'm going to do six times three, which is 18 plus two is 20. And then the last step is to add up my number. So I'm going to add those two up. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 7 plus 4 is 11. 1 plus 4 plus 0 is 5. And 0 plus 2 is 2. And add our comma. So 68 times 37 equals 2,516. Okay, let's do one more. So we're going to start with 2 times 4, which is 8. Since that's a one-digit number, I don't have anything to carry. So I'm just going to go to my next step. 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, so I'm done with the 4. So now I'm going to be looking at the 8. But first I need to put my magic 0 to hold my 1's place. So now I'm going to do 2 times 8, which is 16. This time I have a 1 to carry. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 1 is 41. And then the last step is to add those two numbers together. So 8, 6, 3, and 4. So 4,368. So just remember that you're going to multiply your top numbers by the number in your ones place first, then you're going to put your magic zero, and then you're going to multiply the top number by whatever's in your tens place. And then when you're all done, you're going to add it together. 
Once you've learned all these different ways for two digit times two digit, you can choose whatever way you're most comfortable with and whatever way you're able to get the right answer with.